Hello everyone, welcome to another one of my London walking videos. I am at Queensway Station today, which is in zone 1 of the Central Line. And now I've never been to this part of London before, so I've just got out of the station here and looking around about me, trying to find my uh, way around and getting myself orientated. I'm actually coming for a meal. I was told, some a friend told me that there's this really um, cheap and quite good food place here in Kensington, one of the most expensive, the poshest part of London. And she said, oh, this place is really nice and cheap. So um, I thought I gotta go and try it out. So I'm meeting uh, somebody for a meal at this um, place. Hence, I've just come out and um, looking now for the restaurant. Actually, it's not a restaurant, it's a canteen. It's more like a canteen. That's why the food is so cheap. And um, I actually got there on time, but this person I'm meeting was about 30 minutes late due to uh, bus and train and all that being late. So here I am walking about looking for this place. And uh, yes, we um, did end up having quite a nice and reasonably cheap meal, which was good. Then as usual, after the meal, we thought, well, we'd go for a look around this area because I've never been here before and it's supposed to be a very nice and posh area. And guess what? It happened to be the day of the Notting Hill Carnival. So we thought, oh, great. Perfect timing. Uh, we just had a meal and we need to go and work off the calories. Weather was absolutely perfect. Nice and warm. And uh, we have never been to the Notting Hill Carnival before. So make for a perfect excuse to um, go for a walk and uh, wander into this carnival and see what it's all about. Yes, so um, I'm actually a bit lost. I was just kind of walking up and down, up and down the street looking for this place. And as I was actually a bit early anyway, and the other person is very, very late. So I was just walking around all by myself, filming the place. It looks very nice, but it seems the entire street, or this street at least, um, all the houses here are either a hotel, a hostel, or some kind of lodging place. It seems the entire street is being rented out. We have now finished with our meal and are full of energy, ready to go and check out this Notting Hill Carnival, which is not very far from here. We heard so much about it, but never actually been to one. So here we are, looking out for it. We're not that far off, we should be there very shortly, and I'll tell you a bit more about it later on.
Right, I think we are around about the um, Notting Hill area now, uh, in the Royal Borough of Kensington and Chelsea, one of the most expensive and poshest bit of London. Um, as you can see, it's um, very massive grand old houses, big massive avenue of road. This is where a one bedroom flat costs more than a million pounds. It actually costs this one million pound flat, which was at advertised a couple of years ago, cost more than a Scottish castle with seven bedrooms and massive of ground uh, that comes with a castle. This is how expensive it is. Uh, this is where the uh, carnival is happening, so we thought we'd have to go and have a look at it. And as I mentioned before, this is the first time I've been to this um, carnival and it will also be the last time because <laughs> it's just awful. <laughs> Not what I expected at all. There was really loud music. It was impossibly loud. You can't even hear yourself think. It was, it was so crowded. There were so many people. You, there's not even anywhere to stand. Never mind see anything. You won't see anything. Uh, oh yeah, you see lots of back people's back. Uh, so um, I must say I didn't feel very much because uh, as soon as we got there, we had to try and get out again because worst of all, was some rubbish. Uh, the place is supposed to be a uh, very expensive, posh area of London, yet it, I think it got turned into a bit of a ghetto that day <laughs> due to this carnival, I think, because there's just rubbish everywhere. There's just uh, litter, bottles, food, smell of food, drink, alcohol, uh, just rubbish all over the place. It, it literally got turned into a rubbish dump, I think. There are so many people you can't see anything. And but the worstest bit was the druggy. The, the air was just polluted with this smell of horrible drugs everywhere. You can't get away from it. Um, cannabis, weed, I don't know, whatever you call it. Just this heavy smell that makes me sick, gives me a headache. So once we got there, uh, we actually had to struggle and try to get out again. And there were so many people that we could, we could hardly move. It took us about an hour, an hour and a half at least, uh, trying to get out of this carnival. So uh, it was bad. Um, but anyway, I came, I seen it, done it. Not again. Uh, I didn't really film very much because we were struggling all the time just to try and get out of it. So I got a bit of it here and there just to give you some idea of what it looks like. Um, most of the time I'm just trying to push and shuffle and squeeze my way trying to get out of it really. So anyway, here we come. Um, very loud music, some colourful costumes, but otherwise didn't see very much. More like, get out of here if I can please. <laughs>
Okay, I think we are finally cleared of it. You you didn't see it, but it took us, I think, one and maybe one and a half hours or so to finally get clear of it and come out to this bit here. Because I think we managed to get out a few times. Well, we thought we got out of it, but uh, it was more like a dead end. Uh, that was not where we wanted to go. So we have to plow back into the um, the the carnival and try to just fight our way through it uh trying to hold our breath sometime when the smell got too awful uh, because it was the smell of the people and the smell of the druggy whichever way you turn there was just some kind of smell that hits you in the face and make you try to hold your breath for as long as you can while struggling through and trying to get out of it but i think we are clear now and we are out of it at last and we are heading now towards holland park to get a breath of fresh air let's hope so we're near to Holland Park at the moment and here we are inside Holland Park um, never been to this park before and it's actually quite nice because we went to the Kyoto Garden and the Dutch Garden and it was uh, quite a pleasant place Right, so we are now inside the Kyoto Garden. It's a really nice, tranquil, beautiful little place inside this big massive park. And I think these fishes, they are the star attraction. These big fat chubby koi, they're so cute. I can sit here and watch them all day, I think. Uh, but it wasn't possible because there was a lot of people trying to um, go through the bridge as well. So I had to make a way out of it but they're really, really nice. So big, fat and cute they are. Big chubby fish, aren't they? Oh,
All right, just thought I'd let you know that we are coming to the end of this video. Um, I think I'll probably come back to this place another day when it's back to um, normal again and have a nice walk around the whole area to see what it actually like on a normal perfect day. But at the moment we are now heading towards Kensington Olympia train station to get the train home. So I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye!